Okay, so somehow I stumbled upon a nerf research again, and yeah, cheers to yet another nerf video. Bungie nerf, short for Progressive Neural Radiance Field for Extreme Multi-Scale Scene Rendering, which is definitely a reference to Bungie because of how much you can zoom in and out like bungee jumping. In hindsight, you can get extremely close to the ground and shoot right up and repeat this action back and forth, and you will probably think, this is nothing new. Well, we'll see. For those who are not familiar with nerf research, it is basically a new AI method similar to photogrammetry, but instead you can just use a small set of images to very accurately generate an object or a scenery. Stereotypical nerf and other later research would usually perform at a single scale. To put it simply, if you render an image set like a room or an object with nerf, most of the stuff will look alright, because we wouldn't need any smaller intricate details like the dusts on the table for instance. But if if the nerf is rendering a larger scale image set like a city, when zooming into a building it will lack heavily in details, since everything is rendered in the same scale. So even if you have a close up images of the building in your image set, its surroundings would still look too messy because nerf cannot generate that level of detail in a single scale. So if we want to have nerf consistently generate from a satellite level view down to a building or even a grain of sand, then bunty nerf comes into the picture. It is one of the new and successful successful research connecting nerf in a multi-scale level. Although it is not difficult to use their codes, their training time on the other hand is a bit insane. And I am not exaggerating. They introduced this thing where you have to train their nerf in multiple stages under this model called progressive growing model. In their proposed model, there are four training stages, but usually is dependent on the scale. The first two stages take around three hours each, and the last two stages take around 15 hours each. In each training stage, the training data includes and gets progressively closer and closer to the target building. This is why when you zoom in from very far out, it feels very consistent with its rendering. However, if there is one mistake in the training stage, then you would probably need to restart fully, and that is say goodbye to 30 hours of your time. Not very ideal to use practically right now to be completely honest. But this massive rendering of nerf is just mind-blowing. It takes great care of the multi-scale that the city-sized image set has and produces results with consistent depths across scales with a quality we've never seen before. To put it in contrast, if you look at Instant NGP with the same input of 463 images that I rendered, the scale of the artifacts and the blurs are much more apparent. Even though Instant NGP took around 30 seconds to get this decent rendering, the quality is still an obvious drop off from Bungie Nerf. This Instant NGP demo is the same one you've seen at the start of the video by the way. And do you see these huge chunks of white blur when you zoom in? This is what Bungie Nerf's multi-scale takes care of mostly, so when you zoom in, you would not be able to see anything rendered at a different scale. Which is why Instant NGP's artifacts look so big when you have a close up shot because it was in a single scale. This is the same when you zoom out and look at the small building surrounding the main building, where Instant NGP lacks the ability to clearly render the details of those buildings even from afar. Bungie Nerf clears up the blurriness much more. What's even cooler is that it is even possible for Bungie Nerf to train on two different locations and make it into a single render. So theoretically, you can zoom out from a city, then zoom into another city all coherently without any scaling problems. The only requirement is to train the multiple stages, and basically have an extra stage or two to calculate the scenery for another location, which will coherently combine them together. However, there isn't a video demo of them showing this result, which is kind of unfortunate. Right now, if you compare Bungie Nerf's results to Google Maps or even Google Earth, it definitely still has a long way to go. Well, firstly, I highly speculate Google Maps relies heavily on manual editing on those 3D rendering because there is no way a typical method for photogrammetry of this massive scale would be this accurate, and it also looks like game texture. Secondly, Bungie Nerf training is based on images from Google Earth. The 463 images set was also from Google Earth, so it definitely cannot get any better than them since it was the ground truth. It'd be weird if it can. Only until researchers can obtain their own realistic dataset on this massive scale, we will then be able to see something even more amazing. 
they did not release their checkpoint for the code so the bad news is you would have to do it for 40 hours plus but they do plan to release it so that might be a good thing and yeah thank you for watching you'll be able to find the code installation tutorial down in the description i've uploaded one of my pre-trained models so you can evaluate and test out the ai yourself without having to train one for like five days a huge thanks to andrew laschelius chris ledoux dan kennedy and many others that support me through patreon or youtube if you have any questions feel free to join my discord and ask there follow my twitter for some cool monthly rankings and i'll see y'all in the next one